Cool, so this is Neil Perrins from Busters Birding and maybe why don't you start off by telling us a little bit more about Busters Birding. Yeah, so I started Busters Birding about six years ago and yeah, we do trips around South Africa, Southern Africa and pretty much all over the world uh, as we get um, more and more experienced in where we, we're going and we've been. Um, uh, in, we also do these pelagics out of Durban, so sort of how I met Calvin. Um, try and do one a month except for December and January. Um, summer months are not that busy so uh, winter the, the numbers come up here but there's various specials that, that pop up from time to time. Today was Barrows Petrol which we were very fortunate to see. Um, yeah and I'm, I'm based in Johannesburg but I have freelancers who, who work in Durban and Cape Town and uh, so we, we do from one day as we do up to three week trips. Um, you can get hold of me www.bustardsbirding.co.za uh, or neil at bustardsbirding.co.za Neil spelled the funny way, the Irish way, so it's N-I-A-L-L at bustardsbirding.co.za and yeah, I look forward to hearing from all of you. Cool. Um, maybe just tell us what is a pelagic trip? How do, uh, you know, for someone that's never been, what can you expect? And for someone that's maybe a bit wary of being seasick, what, uh, what, what advice can you give them? Your um, pelagic birds are birds that basically stay, live their lives out at sea apart from when they go back to their breeding ground. So they're born, born on an island, uh, most of the majority are born on an island. And after they, they fledge, they go out to sea, spend several years out at sea before coming back to do their first breeding cycle. And then every year they'll leave that island and spend their lives at sea, um, eating scraps of fish, uh, plankton, um, shrimps, squid. Um, often following schools of golf and whatever and uh, picking up the scraps that they eat. Um, very specialised birds, mainly looking for the food by smell and spending most of their time off the continental shelf. So a pelagic trip needs you to get out into the deep water, mainly deeper than 400 metres of water. water. Um, and putting out something to attract them uh, by smell. And we need a mixture of wind and um, larger swell but not too much wind because then we can't get out. It's a, a fine line between not going out and, and having enough wind to lift the birds into the air. Um, yeah, and we put out a bit of a chum and create some oil slick, send the sense of smell out to the birds, find that by smell. Um, yeah, it's um, going out to sea, getting seasick. I've been through it, I think a lot of us have been through it. Um, there's various methods. I, I started off by taking uh, Sturgeron, which a lot of people take. It tends to make you a little drowsy. And a lot of um, motion sickness is from inner, inner ear balance. So I've got my doctor to prescribe me Epinutin for epileptics to, to maintain your balance. Um, so a mixture of that. Best to get medical advice and just see what your doctor recommends. But yeah, taking a cup of Sturgeron, you might fall asleep on the way back. Not a bad thing always. Um, or maybe, maybe going the route of Epinutin. I'm not worrying about it. I don't get sick. I feel mild and queasy with it. But um, I don't get sick on the trip, so. And why should people do a pelagic out of Durban versus Cape Town, for example? Well, we get slightly different species. Um, it's not as species rich, as diverse as Cape Town. But we do get the, the more tropical special. So we've had grey petrol quite often up here. We get Barrows petrol, which was, as I say, the special today. Um, they come between September and November. We get them doing a pre and post breeding loop from Reunion where they breed um, into our waters. Um, in low numbers, there's only, they, they estimate 4,000 pairs. Um, so it's really low numbers. We're really lucky to get, to get them coming into our waters. Um, we get other birds like uh, Fleshwood and Chewater. We've got a chance of Sooty Turn, the Noddies and Boobies. We've had um, records of up here, um, which you don't get going down into cold cave waters. We've got warmer currents, so we, we also then get a lot of passage migrants. So we get black bitty storm petrel, which also passes through cave waters. But we get white pay storm petrel, which tends not to pass through cave waters. Um, yeah, and, and then it's just, you get a mix of the other species that get down there. It's totally different to a Cape Pelagic. Um, a Cape Pelagic, you tend to go out to a trawler, spend some time with thousands and thousands of birds. You'll probably get about the same amount of species. Um, but here you go out and you, you're attracting the birds to your own mini trawler, for, for argument's sake. And um, it's a totally different experience. The photography is amazing. You get really close to the birds. They're not scared of the, of the small vessel. 
there's no trawler in the way. Um, so yeah, it's just a, it's a great experience. Um, if you haven't seen a, a pelagic bird, uh, I sort of used to as a kid flip past those pages and say, well, my dad said, well, you never, you'll never see it in all, they're all out in deep sea, but um, now that I've done it, I, I won't stop.